What is up? This year, LA in a minute. And I'm back with part three of my series on affordable housing. What the LA Department of City Planning is doing to transform our city to make it more equitable and affordable. Today's focus on a cute, charming, beloved type of housing that was commonplace in the early growth of Los Angeles, but it's all but disappeared in recent decades. Talking about bungalow courts, garden courts, or courtyard apartments, these are smaller scale homes with multiple units on a single lot. With the city's chip ordinance, we may see a renaissance of these style builds in order to replace that type of housing, otherwise known as the missing middle. Let's get into it. We call it the missing middle because so often we see two types of housing in the city, single family homes or apartment buildings, typically larger multi-story buildings and not much in between. But guess what? LA used to thrive on this kind of housing. In fact, this is classic Los Angeles. They say that no building type is more synonymous with early LA than the residential bungalow. In fact, these bungalow courts, courtyard apartments, and garden courts are responsible for some of the growth of LA's most important communities from Pasadena to East Hollywood to Los Feliz to Silver Lake. It's quite notable that Charlie Chaplin himself kicked off a building boom of cottages and bungalows that still bear his name as a fine example of an intimate condensed housing alternative here in Los Angeles. The original Walt Disney Studios were actually a fine example of bungalow housing turned into studios. And it's significant that in the consummate Los Angeles movie, The Big Lebowski, the main character, the dude, actually lives at this distinctive type of multifamily housing that was the backbone of LA's history. This type of housing is based on the idea that you're sharing space with your neighbor. They're less expensive to build and occupy. It's accessible, affordable housing for the masses. Unlike other housing types, these are appealing to LA residents because they offer a condensed and generally less expensive version of a single family home. But the thing is, these types of homes aren't getting built anymore. Restrictive building regulations were adopted in the 1960s, and today it's difficult to build these types of homes in LA. So what is the city planning to do? Well, the city recognizes that to build a more community-centered, sustainable, and equitable city, we need to allow for a greater diversity of housing types to meet the differing needs of Angelinos, especially in higher resource areas of the city. To achieve this, the proposed citywide housing incentive program ordinance creates a path for developers to build more diverse types of housing, especially near corridors with transit access and access to destinations, jobs, and good schools in exchange for providing affordable housing units within those development projects. So here's where you come in. The city needs your input. So go to planningforla.org slash chip. I'll put the link in my bio. And this is where you get to see exactly how the city can build more affordable home ownership opportunities. So if you want to live in or see more of this classic and iconic LA housing, like courtyard apartments, garden courts, or bungalow courts, or if you just want to learn how they plan on implementing the program in Los Angeles, again, check out planningforla.org slash chip. And you can even email feedback to housingelement at lacity.org. That's housingelement at lacity.org. We know there's an unprecedented affordable housing crisis in LA, and you could be part of the solution, especially when it comes to the missing middle. Stay tuned for the last part of this four-part series on the proposed citywide housing incentive program, Affordable Housing, from the LA Department of City Planning. All right, LA, it's been a minute.